So in the last video I forgot that I, I also wanted to show you this function here when it is the graph of a function and talk about what its you know, derivatives looks like. Let's switch over to Desmo. So here I have my function. And now I, I do want to think about the derivative of this function. So when this function is decreasing, right, we said that means that it has negative derivative, right? What does that look like, right? At this point, x equals negative 1. The tangent line to this function has a negative slope. Right? So that's what we mean by function is decreasing, so the derivative is decreasing. Right? At a point here, at negative 1, this function is decreasing. If I take the tangent line to my function at that point, it has a negative slope. That means the derivative at that point is negative. Okay? Same thing happens over here. Okay? If I take x equals 1, that's a place where my function in red is decreasing. All right? And if we look at the tangent line to my function at that point, it has a negative slope. That means the derivative there is negative, which corresponds to when that function is decreasing. Right. Then on the other hand, we have you know, this point here in the middle. Right at x equals 0, function in red looks like it is increasing. Right. We take the tangent line for our function at this point, and it has positive slope, which means that the derivative is indeed positive there. Okay. And then at these two critical points, right, if I take the tangent line, it's perfectly flat sloped. So it has zero slope. So this is a place where the derivative is zero. Same thing down here. Right? If I take the tangent line at this kind of minimum little like valley center here, right? The tangent line to the function at this point is flat. Right? It has zero slope. That means that the derivative at that point is zero. Right? So if you draw these tangent lines all over at the place at the same time, then it gets a little confusing, but here, you draw the tangent line in blue, and that means that the derivative at this point is negative, which corresponds to when this function is increasing. Here, in green, we draw the tangent line at zero. Tangent line here is increasing, sorry, tangent line here is positive slope, which means our function is increasing. Over here, function is decreasing, tangent line has a negative slope. And at these two points here, these little tots, top of this hill here and the bottom of this valley here, they have zero derivative because the tangent line at these points are flat, so they have zero slope. And that's a place where the function isn't changing, right? They're not increasing or decreasing, they're switching between increasing and decreasing, right? So they're sort of these critical points where the behavior of my function is changing.